ഐ ആൻ ഡോക്ടർ ശാന്തകുമാരി വർക്കിംഗ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഫിസിഷ്യൻ മാത ആയുർവേദ ഐ ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽസ് വർക്കിംഗ് ട്രിവാൻഡ്ര നോ ഐ ആം ഹിയർ ടു ഷെയർ വിത്ത് യു ആയുർവേദിക് അപ്രോച്ച് അബൌട്ട് ദി ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഷോർട്ട് സൈറ്റഡ്നെസ് ഇൻ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ദി റീസൺ വൈ ഐ സെലക്റ്റഡ് ദിസ് ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് വെരി സിമ്പിൾ ബിക്കോസ് ദി നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ സഫറിംഗ് ഫ്രം വേരിയസ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് വിഷൻ പ്രോബ്ലം ഈസ് ഇൻക്രീസിംഗ് day by day in our country and among the different types of vision problems short sightedness otherwise known as uh, myopia comes first so i want to focus on myopia at present and everybody knows what is myopia i think it is such a common thing but the, here the victim being a child he or she the child is not able to identify the problem that is the uh, um, real problem now even though he is having some vision problem he will not identify it and further since there is no um, objective signs that means in redness or watering or swelling etc the parents also may miss it so it will be uh, kept on living unnoticed for some time or some sometime i have seen for months or years together and finally what happens most often the teacher in the school notice it and he the teacher may inform the parents that the, this child is having some vision problem and he the teacher informs that the, and this child is not able to read from the board or not uh, able to copy correctly from the uh, blackboard like that this will be the complaints most often but what happens the parent will just avoid it parents will not take much care seriousness to this point because he will think that uh, maybe because of childishness or the boy is not having much interest in that particular subject that is why he is making mistakes by copying from the board or not concentrating on board like that he may, the parent will think but later the parents will notice that the child is moving towards the tv screen while viewing tv at home even though they are asking them the child to come back the boy will or the child will move towards the screen to the front of the uh, screen again and again then they will start to think of the point that the teacher has noticed earlier and they will be confused and finally they will decide to go to an ophthalmologist and after detailed investigations the doctor will diagnose that boy is having uh, child is having short sight and the doctor will prescribe a lens but most of in my experience what happens they will be not in a position to accept that there is some vision problem to their child they will be thinking no we parents are not having any problem and our grandparents also are not having any problem and why my child is having such a problem and they are healthy otherwise not any even a cold or nothing is um, there for the child so uh, they will just avoid it and sometimes we we'll go to a second opinion from there also they will get the same opinion finally they will start to wear a glass and they will think that that can be removed after 6 months or 7 months uh, it will be corrected like that but in fact what happens after 6 months or within one year the child will complain the same thing again he is not able to see correct on the board, correctly on from the board or starts make mistakes again so again after check up they have to change the power of the glass that means the vision is again coming down and this happens one or two or three times in this point at this junction they starts to think 
is there any alternative system any alternative methods any other remedial measures there are contact lenses or they will get the information from the doctors that there is a uh, laser treatment method but we have to wait up to the age of 19 years or 20 years so they will uh, parents will start to search what to be done whether to wait for the age of 19 years or to do some other methods for the protection of the vision like that so uh, in this stage many 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 people are coming to ayurveda searching for remedial measures to avoid this laser less, uh, later or to improve the vision or at least to maintain the present status quo yes there are methods there are remedial measures in ayurveda to protect the vision and to bring the system back to normal now what is the method in ayurveda that is the point to be discussed uh, don't think that there is a single uh, magic drop or a magic kashayam to solve all the problem it is not like that we have to maintain the normal status of the visual system then only the vision will be corrected now let us think what is short sightedness everybody knows the light rays that reflects from the object uh, is coming parallel it is running parallel in the air and coming to the uh, eye and when it reaches the surface of the eyeball it passes through the eyeball to reach back of the uh, this organ it has to pass through the refractive media there are four refractive media first external most is cornea then comes the fluid medium uh, acute humor then lens and then vitreous humor then they have these light rays are passing through this media and finally reaches the retina to converge so it is the refraction of this media the refraction of light rays that happens while passing through this media that enables the light rays to focus on the particular point that means if there is any defect or any damage or any abnormality in this refractive media the light rays are not able to focus on the particular points in short sightedness what happens it is not focusing on the retina particular point but in front of it so the functioning of the system the basic function is not the problem but distance is the problem now let us think what is the role of distance in the function of this so the eyeball this uh, vision organ so for refraction and for deviation of the light rays the curvature many factors are influencing main among them are the curvature of this uh, cornea and curvature of this uh, quality of the acute humor curvature of lens transparency of the lens and the consistency of the vitreous humor all are equally important so if we have to maintain the normal function we have to keep all these anatomical structures within normal limits for this since the victim is a child we cannot play with this vision or this eye so very carefully we have to manage it so the first step in ayurveda we are doing it in uh, three steps the first step is to keep the flexibility and the elasticity of this media normal so that the movement of the eyeball will be free and normal uh, that means the the thickness of the cornea and the quality and the this should be maintained by normal movements for that free movements that means the it should be freely flexible and uh, for the free flexibility the elasticity also is an important factor so these are to be maintained by different types of uh, treatment procedures for that there are many many methods that is suitable oil for head 
and uh, massages and nasal drops and, they, and also Indian medicine. These are the different types of methods and medicines are there. It should be selected according to the particular patient, particular child. And the second step, we are trying to practice the normal movements. The boy has to be taught, he has to learn how to practice the normal. We can say Natra Vyayam or eyeball movements or eye exercise etc. There are scientifically arranged methods to uh, improve the normal movements, to make it normal. For this uh, position of the, uh, I mean position of the object, height of the object and the distance from the object to the eye, these are very, very you know, important factors. These, are, these should be arranged and different types of movements the movements of the ocular muscles that should be practiced scientifically and in a very uh, arranged manner. Then sec uh, third stage we have to stabilize or to make it more healthy the total uh, these functions that the organ should be made healthy. The retina should be made more stable and healthy and uh, the nerves should be um, maintained normally it should become taking back to normal for that indian medicines are very important there are different types of medicated ghee ghee preparations are very very good for children so all these medicines are selected according to the that particular stage of the uh, disease and that particular uh, patient because the children are of different nature, their tastes or their habits and their characteristics, all are different. So the same medicine may not be um, suitable for all the children. It should be selected by an expert hand. So like that, very good um, medicine, medicinal approach also is necessary. Then another thing we cannot forget that is about diet. Everybody know the importance of diet, especially in children. All the structures are developed, all the structures are in, in functioning and also damaged by diet. So it is very important to have a balanced diet for children, especially in growing stage. So a paka diet chart is very necessary. That should be arranged by an uh, expert doctor because we have to consider all other aspects of the child. What is the nature, whether he is having any cold or sinusitis or any allergy, all this should be considered by selecting a diet chart. So the external treatment procedures and then in the internal medicines and dietary factors and mixture of all these things. While using all these steps, we can bring the visual system of the child back to normal. And no doubt we can improve his vision and we can avoid the specs also, no doubt. So need not be worried. If you see that your child is having short-sightedness and you need not wait up to 19 years for this lesser treatment, let us start the medicinal approach as early as possible. Thank you.